you very much for your time. Thanks, Lee. Imagine having to go to hospital for a blood transfusion every month of your life. That's the case for the person you're about to meet. Stacey Wong has thalassemia, an inherited blood disease that can be fatal. Now, Australian doctors are using genetic therapy in the hope of offering patients like Stacey a cure. The ABC's medical reporter, Sophie Scott, has this exclusive report. Stacey. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you? Hello. Are you yes. Thing? Stacey Wong has spent much of her life in hospitals. Well, it's exciting days, isn't it? Yes, it's all kind of happening and a little nervous, but you know. Now 26, Stacey's had to have blood transfusions every month of her life just to stay alive. But today could be her last session on the machine. Linda's been such a help. The fact that someone who has an illness that they've been told they would have the rest of their lives can have the prospect of being cured from that illness uh, is uh, a tremendous prospect for them. Stacy suffers from thalassemia. It's an inherited blood disorder where the body produces fewer red blood cells and less haemoglobin than normal. That's the substance in red blood cells that allows them to carry oxygen. It makes her feel tired and short of breath. Untreated, she could die. But Stacey's been given the chance to live a normal life. How are you? I'm good. Everything good? Yes, so last one. Transfusion, well, oh, I hope so. Fingers crossed. She's part of a groundbreaking genetic trial. At the helm is one of Australia's leading genetic scientists, Professor John Rasko. Let's get um, uh, our hopes up, uh, but yes. not, not... Not too much, yes. just a little bit, but not too much. Gene therapy changes the way patients are treated by correcting the genetic defect that causes the disease, not just treating the symptoms. This is how it works. Stacey's stem cells are removed. Scientists in the United States insert a healthy copy of the malfunctioning gene into the stem cells. She's given chemotherapy to wipe out her immune system. Then the genetically modified cells are transplanted back. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Well, this is a slide of uh, someone with thalassemia and we can see... It shows a mishmash of abnormal blood cells which are destroyed prematurely instead of normal red blood cells which last four months. If you take now a look at a normal slide that I've got prepared, look at how bland... Much more, much more uniform. Much more uniform. Yeah. They all look the same. So could Stacey's cells ever look like this that we're seeing here? Well, that's our hope. One day it's possible to imagine that she'll be manufacturing cells in her own body because we've, in a sense, reset the balance between the haemoglobin production. Stacey and her fiancé Christian travelled all the way to this medical centre in Chicago for the first part of the procedure. Her stem cells were harvested from her bone marrow, then genetically modified in a lab using a harmless virus. One month after her trip to the US, the day of the transplant has finally arrived. Hi hey, Stacey. How are you doing? Good, much better than yesterday. Yeah, so of... The nausea is gone now. Yeah, yeah. no, mm -hmm. kind of a little bit brighter and kind of sitting up, which is nice. Here in the bowels of Sydney's Royal Prince Alfred Hospital, Stacey's new genetically modified cells have returned from the US. They're taken out of dry ice and thawed. It's a big moment. Nothing like this has ever been attempted in Australia before. So much could go wrong. Welcome, precious cargo. But Stacey's staying optimistic. She's endured chemotherapy to wipe out her bone marrow and is primed to go. Everyone I know is like excited and nervous and I'm just like, they're always like, are you worried? I'm like, not really. Why would I be worried? Drip by drip, the genetically modified cells are slowly infused. Then after years of planning, it was over. Cool, is that it? That's it. Okay, cool. Yes. You happy to walk back? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's all right. Stacey is such a buoyant individual. She's always positive and she's such a joy to look after. Eight thalassemia patients around the world, including Stacey, have had the genetically modified cells infused. 
four have been able to reduce or stop blood transfusions completely. And it's looking good for Stacey. We're already seeing the earliest stages of recovery of Stacey's blood. In particular, the white cells are starting to recover and that indicates to us that the bone marrow is starting to work. Um, I like this though, this is really nice. Yeah. Although she's lost her hair due to the chemo, that seems to be the only downside. Now I feel good and going back to work soon. So yeah, kind of happy, happy it's all over, but just um, better than I thought I would be. I thought and she's been able to go for more than a month without a transfusion. But um, ever since the treatment, even though um, my haemoglobin has gone down a little bit, like the blood counts, I don't feel that tiredness and that kind of weakness in my muscles. Thank you. Now she's got uh, way more energy compared to before she's had this treatment. Um, all those bits and pieces that she couldn't do before, whether it's going out, staying out longer, she can do now. I love the travel section. And they can finally plan the long overseas honeymoon they've dreamed of. For Stacey, the risks have been worth the reward. I'm glad I said yes, and I feel kind of good that I did it. Oh, we should try this place one day. This is just the beginning of what we hope is going to be a revolution not just in thalassemia or just blood diseases, but in many different forms of genetic abnormality. And then hopefully the sky's the limit. Sophie Scott reporting. After a long drought, Australian tennis appears to be enjoying a revival at the Open. And while no one's suggesting yet that an Aussie could take the title, the performance...